Hey everybody, it's Doodlebud back again in case you haven't put two and two together. I'm quite the fan of fountain pens and if I need to use a ballpoint, I actually got to hunt all over because I can't even find one. These folks reached out. This is from Bastion. This is their bolt action pen. This is titanium black PVD coated. I am not a ballpoint person but this thing has not left my pocket since I've gotten it and I really, really like it. So let's run through, show you what this thing's all about. I think it's pretty slick. They mentioned they checked out my channel and they like my reviews. They understand I'm big into fountain pens, but they also like how I get into the engineering and build quality. So they said, let's send you one. Check out our engineering and build quality. So here it comes, it says write your own story on there. Came in this box and uh, yeah, basic type of packaging here little top comes on here and then your pen comes and sits in the packaging so it will arrive all nice and tidy and safe it does come with this little pouch as you can see I haven't even bothered to opening it uh, it's like hermetically sealed or something yeah there we go piece of felt um, this thing is titanium I'm not gonna be using the case but it does come with one also has a bonus refill bonuses are good and then the little business card here and uh, thank you for your order. oh i didn't read this scratch to reveal your prize let's reveal my prize i can't wait and what's this probably a coupon code oh look at that save uh 20 bucks on an order that's pretty cool so but the big part here is obviously the pen so what we're looking at this is 135 millimeters in length 12 millimeters in diameter. The closest thing I got around is a Sharpie. It's very, very close to this. The Sharpie is 11.7 millimeters diameter to this 12 and 137 millimeters to 135. So if you like writing with the Sharpie, if you like the feel of that, you're gonna like the feel of this pen as well. They do have the pens in a slim version as well. So if you don't like it being that thick, they are nine millimeters in diameter for all the, th the thinner models. Uh, for reference, this no name Bic is eight millimeters. Let's pop it on the scale and check out the weight. Um, it is a heavy pen, especially this is the full size kind of thickness one. Uh, comes in at 47 grams. That's with the ink refill in there. So obviously the slim ones will be less. One thing I noticed, I was just double checking everything on the site. They'll list the pen body dimensions and weight in ounces. Then there'll be a drawing of the pen. And so for the slim ones, they update the drawing dimensions. But some of the weights I found, maybe not 100%, like it showed the aluminum one was the same weight as the titanium one. The titanium is going to be a little bit heavier, so I can't say for sure the exact weight of what this pen is in the slim, but double check their website. Maybe that's something for them to double check on their site as well. Let's talk about build quality, and I'll start off by showing you that. <laughs> that tells you a lot right there. Watch it vanish again. Uh, you can't see the line until you do that. So that reminds me of the Lamy 2000. And of course I keep my Lamy 2000 nearby. The feature I'm referring to is the piston knob on the back of that pen where it just sort of appears out of nowhere. So such a cool uh, feature on this pen. I talk about the engineering behind this. That's a separate set of videos. So when they did this same type of thing on this pen and you just go yoink and it appears, they had my attention. How you would do that is these parts are manufactured. You have your main body, then you have your nose cone. So they're coming out of the machine separate, obviously. So you put them together. So each pen obviously gets a nose cone. And now they stay together like this for the rest of any of the manufacturing or assembly and stuff like that that's going on. And they're essentially keyed. They are mated to each other and you blast them, you bead blast them, okay? And that will get rid of any of the changes in diameters and just little tiny steps that you would have. So that makes them essentially seamless. And then you have your other processing. In this case, we have our PVD coating, which is put on here. So you, you have to have your processes and assembly and all that uh, all in order. So they're doing a good job on that. It takes your standard style Parker uh, refill in here. They put their, their branding on there too, which is a nice little feature they did. Your little pen spring goes on. Um, I don't know about pen spring sizes, if this is a standard size or different size, but if you lost it for whatever reason, I'm sure you could probably find another one from another pen somewhere. Uh, the nose cone here does have a little black O-ring. That's to keep a little friction between these two parts so it doesn't come undone very easy in your hand. And you can see some of the titanium down the barrel there a little bit. So we'll put those back together, put that in, screw it up, 
and yeah it just it's such, such a good job on that that's a nice little attention to detail it means that you really care you move on you got your clip it's a reasonably uh heavy duty stiff clip so it's it's pretty thick but that does slide over a uh, notebook and stuff no problem i'm not a pen in the shirt kind of person that's not my deal and then we got some torque screws that takes a t6 uh torx screwdriver then you got your bolt your bolt action here. So why they call the bolt action? Well, it's just like a bolt action rifle. Um, this mechanism is done really well. Like it's super satisfying. It's got that mega click to it that you just want to do all day long. You can do it silent as well. So you can just, you know, a little more quiet. I'll shut up here. So it doesn't have to be crazy loud if you're worried about making lots of noise in a meeting, but the way I love to do this is you just slap that thing and it just works so well. When you first get it, it's not uh, as smooth as if you put a bunch of clicks into this. This this pen is literally in my hand, even when I'm driving. Got one hand on the wheel and then the other hand just pretty much doing this. I'm all around the house doing this as well. <laughs> I, I have literally thousands of thousands of... Uh, you know motions on this as well and it's really really good this it's all metal too so this isn't going to come apart this isn't going to break how i think this goes together is you have your internal slide that's in here um let me see if i can get some light on so you can see it managed to get some focus we'll do it quick while it's still there but there's that inner slider that bolt action mechanism so just a little tube travels up and down and and will turn inside the body so i mean that's solid metal that thing's not going to break and so how I believe this goes together is you got this inner tube, the sliding mechanism, and then the uh, little knob here gets screwed in most likely. And it almost looks like that little shiny black part there that looks like a touch of Loctite. So I imagine that's how that goes together. There is nothing to break here. I did notice if you look up on the top there, you can see that other colored metal. So it's some type of, uh, I don't know if that's brass or copper or just what that is, another type of metal up there. And uh, let's pop the clip off. I'll show you that real quick too. This is literally a pen that is meant to last a lifetime. It will actually most likely outlive uh, you. <laughs> so uh, here we go here. We'll pop this off. I got in the, what size? I think this is my T6. Yes, yeah, my T6. And you just do the screws here. Be like if you don't have a Torx, don't try a different type of screwdriver on here or else you'll rip these screws up. Uh, but yeah, everything's got that black PVD coating, which is quite nice. You can see they got a, uh, of course, a flat spot so that the clip rests on there as well. And so this one, you can see through hole, if you shine some light um, through here, it, it, it goes through into the body and you can see the light shining through, but not onto there. So there is some type of metal going on. Um, there we can see a little bit so you can see that one it almost looks like that's titanium but i'm not quite sure what that other metal is there or if it's just some additional coating from something i'm not 100 percent sure what that is but uh yeah so if the clip let's say maybe that comes a little loose or it's wiggling you can always tighten it up if that happens over time maybe put a little tiny dab of loctite on those and snug her back up so after using this pretty hardcore for a week and putting thousands of clicks on this you could only see just the teeniest amount of the coating here coming off where it's making contact with that. Like PVD is a very strong coating, but even, you know, doing that, it is going to wear off where these two parts uh, meet. And probably on the slider here on the inside, you can see a little bit of shininess going on. Um, you know, this is a rugged, tough pen that's meant to be used if you are you know well, i could see a police officer using this or someone in a shop or a lab or out in the field in construction whatever or just someone who likes a cool looking pen but yeah this thing is like it is built tough as nails and can hold up to anything i like how it's all metal and there is just nothing to break on here the only thing that will break will be the refill like <laughs> that's you could throw this thing wherever you want it it might get dinged up and chipped up but nothing's gonna wrong go wrong with it um you know the other mechanisms in these pens are nice this has a beautiful rot rotary mechanism in there as well but i have noticed with some ball points that over time if you write a little bit firmer and you have to with a ball point over a fountain pen that sometimes you know this is out here now but over time it can get pressed up into that mechanism depending on the pen i had a really cool cross pen that was like that i really liked it had a beautiful twist twist mechanism but this kept retracting and retracting retracting and then only a teeny bit would ever come out so there are like some plastic bits and stuff in this pen this is actually a half decent pen 
but this is more prone to wear out or things sliding versus here like there's just there's just no way <laughs> it's solid metal uh the refill touches up against inside this tube which is metal and you have your spring in there so yeah that you're never going to have that problem with this one um with the ballpoint creeping back up into the pen over time this this isn't going anywhere it's going to be like this forever i might as well write with it although i do prefer uh fountain pens this thing gets me kind of excited about a ballpoint i like i said earlier i can never find a ballpoint if you ask me for one you i will now know exactly where ballpoint is because this is gonna, this is with me all the time even just to hold it in my hand and, and play with it but here we go we got the bastion ba uh, ballpoint this is the bolt action this is in titanium and this is the full size one this is the 12 millimeter you know as far as as writing and printing i do prefer a fountain pen but you know this works just well it's nice and smooth you don't have to worry about you know ink smudging and tines being out of alignment and all the other things you got to deal with with fountain pens <laughs> ball points just work exceptionally well and this does i could see someone using this thing for their whole working career <laughs> out in the field and it just wouldn't fail so prior to bash and contacting me i wasn't familiar with their pens or their brand before so i you know searched around hunted around did some uh, checking up on them they appear to be based out of the u.s and atlanta the pens uh, say they are designed in the USA. It doesn't say made in the USA. So I imagine it's outsourced. It's done somewhere else. But wherever it's done by whoever is doing this, keep doing what you're doing because these are made phenomenally well. Like everything is on point. If it, let's say you're a mechanic and you got greasy hands, you need a durable pen, this would be great. But then over a while, over time, you want to kind of clean it, degrease it so it's not all uh, nasty. You could just take the refill out chuck the whole thing into like an ultrasonic cleaner full of like ethanol or methyl hydrate or ipa hit the button and it's not going to melt any parts or damage the pen like it's that strong comes in all the different materials there's even zirconium which is nuts um so they they got all your your bases covered with weights and materials as far as pricing so this is the titanium one goes for a hundred bucks um, their stainless steel, I think is 70, something around there. There's a one that had stainless steel with carbon fiber. There's also the aluminum ones. I think they're even cheaper. I think they're around 60 bucks, something like that. And there's the, you know, you check the website. There's a, there's a link down there in the description, the link it there's, it's an affiliate link. So I might make I know, something like $2 if you buy a pen. So keep that in mind. If you think I'm totally corrupt so I can make two bucks, well then everything's corrupt. But anyways, I think they did a great job. This is my first bolt action pen so it could be uh they came to me first and i'm just so giddy over doing this all day long that it's you know i'm super happy with the pen but under close inspection this is great so this is pretty slick i like it if i decide i don't want to use a fountain pen or i need to use something where that's not appropriate this will be the first ballpoint i go for and i will now know where my ballpoint is because i think this will be with me 24 7. <laughs> check this out as well this is just something i noticed the pen is like dimensionally the same on the box the box the picture it's one millimeter longer so even that attention the detail is over the top and that these are things i notice anyways thank you to bastion for sending me you're really kind of, this is a wicked cool pen. Uh, thanks for doing that, sending me this. I'm in love with this thing. Lots of fun to use and also especially play with. Uh, I'd love to hear from someone. If you have one of these, leave us a comment down below. I'd, I'd love to know how has this been holding up for you? Let us know how long you've had it and how it's been working for you because I just don't see how this thing could break or have any problems. So yeah, great job on this thing. Hit subscribe if you haven't. Helps out the channel so I can bring you cool material like this. Helps me get noticed. We'll show you some lovely ladies here and we'll catch you next time.